Alright guys, today I'm gonna help you guys to get all of the FPS's that you need to play your favorite game. So first of all, I'm Losty. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I'm making this kind of content. Oh! Oh, they're coming to me. Yeah. There's multiple lights here. It's running towards us. Oh shit! <laughs> You fight, literally. I don't know the game, but it looks so freaking cool. Oh, I got him! And a couple of videos like that. So I don't want to make this video too long. Um, if you think this video helped you out, make sure you like and uh, let me know in the comments how much FPS you got boosted. So let's just start. All right, first of all, we have to go play with the Roblox itself and then game settings. So we go um, press Shift F5 will open FPS uh, menu for us, go settings of Roblox, and you'll see my graphics quality is all the way up, which uh, brings me to 100 FPS. If I put all the way down, I'll lose quality from the map and the distance from the map, but it will add up to my FPS. Now I get 350, 400 FPS, right? But you might say, uh, I want to balance that. Put in autom automatic then. It will make automatic for you. So. Um, obviously, you might see only 60 FPS for you, right? You just only see 59, 60 FPS constantly. That means you did not unlock your FPS, which you need a third-party program called Roblox FPS Unlocker to be able to unlock your FPS. I'm going to put a, a link where you guys can download that third-party program. It's not really wires or anything, but if you guys still don't trust me, you guys can go Google, type Roblox FPS Unlocker and download for yourself. Or you can make a search on YouTube about it. So when you download, you double click and boom, your FPS will unlock. So then we have obviously um, other settings inside the game. Almost every game, not all of them, but almost every game has their own unique uh, in-game settings, which this game has it, settings. And then you can make some uh, settings on, some settings off, like field of view, if you put all the way down, which uh, decreases your uh, field of view, you, you're not be able to see left, right really much, but then it gives you much of render for your screen. That means you get more FPS. Blah, blah, blah. You know, you, you gotta just uh, check it out yourself. The game you play might, might be different than I am playing. It might have different settings. So, um, some settings, some game ha has like a remote uh, textures, you know, like this one. If I put a graphics level to lemon, it's gonna remove all the textures. But if I put high, it's gonna put back. But some game doesn't have same settings so you gotta just play around i cannot go all the games one by one and i say this setting is good and this not so you gotta figure that for yourself but now i'm gonna go and give you guys more in-depth uh, fps boost uh, tutorial so let's go all right now we are at my desktop i'm gonna show you guys the fps on the thing so you guys 100 sure what you guys are doing so this is the fps on the uh, third party, part of the, I cannot talk. Sorry, third party program. So you guys see my game. I have 60 FPS, right? And if I double click this, you guys see this happens for two seconds. Then I boost all the way to 140. So, so I just want to show you guys that it works. Now I can close this. First of all, I want you guys to clean your um, browser uh, catch. I don't know how to sp uh, spell it really well, but you type run right when you get this you type um temp delete everything out. these are not important they are just trash truly right and then run again person temp person and delete this again all of them boom and then just say skip because some of the things they're still using so they just keep it but if it's not if it's deletable then just delete and then you go run again and then type prefetch oh, i typed wrong prefetch these are the the stuff that you deleted but it's not really fully deleted in your hardware so it's not really important for you if you already deleted them so deleted boom and i say skip this is gonna a little bit help your pc it's not really boost 60 or 50 obviously but it's gonna still help all right so the next step that we're gonna show is something that's gonna change something in your pc a couple stuff but it's not really a big deal 
if you're using your dad's pc or sister's pc these steps and the changes that i'm making is uh something that you can put always back to normal or if i tell you to delete something it's something that you can delete which is not really useful everything that i do to help your pc boost itself so you can play the games in high fps so next step is obviously go into search bar and type pc then you're gonna press properties or right click properties you're gonna find advanced system settings you're gonna get this pop up if you have like windows 8 windows 11 whatever you can type advanced system settings and you're gonna get the same thing so press settings and so if you turn these off you're gonna have really ugly pc but high performance so you can do this right but what i would stress you is uh, let windows choose what's the best for your computer but turn everything off instead i mean uh, uh turn everything off but smooth edge screen phones and show thumbnails instead of icons these should let stay so boom so these are gonna stay and the rest gonna turn off this way you can still see what's the thumbnails without clicking them or your phone's gonna not look ugly if you press adjust for the best performance which is gonna unclick everything and apply your font is gonna be look ugly and your uh, thumbnail is gonna be a little bit different so you have to click to be able to see what's inside and look at this font do you want this font i don't want it so i press smooth edges and show thumbnails instead of icons apply boom better font better thumbnail but yeah this is it and then uh you want to change a background your background is important because every time you minimize something your your pc has to process it but you can do right click personalize choose solid color right then it's gonna be a solid color for yourself like black or whatever color you want then it's gonna be easy for your pc to process because there won't be any image or there won't be any color and second thing i mean third thing is if you have a lot of icon on your pc make a new folder and put all of them inside it but i'm not gonna put it because i don't really care but if it's your dad's pc or maybe sister's pc it might be a little bit trouble because they might not like it that you put everything in a folder so you gotta just uh, figure that out for yourself all right so next step is really important your pc might be set it up wrong and we're gonna fix it so i want you to go search bar and type power settings right you might maybe you cannot find it you can go control panel right and then press hardware and sound you want to find power options here click it and then you see my uh my power plan is at the high performance if your was at the balance put in the high performance right there might be different ones like power saver if it's power saver it's even worse because you're not going to be able to play anything it's going to lag a lot it's going to be a lot of problem but it's going to save a lot of uh, energy but if you put high performance you might get a little bit extra like one dollar or two dollar a month extra for your bill but it's not a really big deal you, it's important for you to play games right and I wouldn't I wouldn't worry a lot. So high performance it is, you put it and then your games, you're gonna really see the difference if it was in a balance or in a power server before. Put high performance and you're done. Alright guys, that was it. Thanks for watching. But I wanna be honest with you guys. There's like a lot of more stuff that I could give you as information to boost your FPS, right? But I don't wanna make this video too long. So let me know in the comment section if you guys want ever more in-depth tutorial and make sure you like that way i know this video was helpful to a lot of people and a lot of people want even more help with fps that way i'm gonna make even better uh, in-depth tutorial for you guys but yeah um make sure you subscribe if you play roblox i might like make a video that you can enjoy and join this server I also, I would highly suggest for you to check my merch, uh, all the links in the description too. So thanks for watching, I will see you guys in the next video probably, or hopefully, take care and peace out.